Hello YouTube. So today's do-it-yourself project is fixing my pool water diverter valve. So because the handle on this uh, diverter valve has uh, kind of broken, the open and closed position has moved. So just a reminder guys, if you like my video and find it helpful or interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest video. So let's start off by removing these eight screws. So you'll need a Phillips bit or cross and a cordless drill will make this process much faster. When removing these screws, it doesn't matter which one you take off first. But when we put them back, remember to go in a crisscross pattern. This helps the distribution of pressure evenly and prevents any future leaks. Notice how that handle comes off easily. There's actually a screw that's supposed to hold that down, but it had broken off. This might be the reason why the off and on position has moved. Having a little bit of a problem with the screwdriver, I'm going to use a different tool that's a little bit thinner to get in between just to crack that seal. And before I do that, I'm going to take a white marker and mark off to make sure I have the correct position when I install it back. Okay, this painter's putty knife should do the trick. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's inspect the quality of the rubber gasket. Looks pretty good. Just clean it off a little bit. And the O-ring gasket looks pretty good also just clean it off a little bit all right let's look inside the valve into the uh, drain hole and also into the skimmer hole to see if there's any debris or something stuck inside Everything looks good. Okay, I figured it out. So I had to move this thing around here. So position here. This is how it should be. If I want to turn the skimmer off, so I would switch to the here. This is how it should be. You see this blocks it from down that way. Now if I want to turn the drain off I would move this this way right and now this blocks it from this blocks the drain and all the skimmer goes in if I want to go the drain only I want to block off turn off the skimmer Oops. turn off the skimmer okay and this would be the drain only so the position of this was off um, this has broken off so I must have done something so now I've got it the proper way if I want to open um, both the skimmer and the drain I'll position this this way okay so now this opens up the skimmer and this opens up the drain I get both at the same time so this is the correct position here. 
Now I'm going to put this in properly. Okay. I know this is okay. It's going this. Should be like that. There we go. There. Now that's the correct position. The off is that way. So that means skim and drain go into the inlet. Hope that helps you guys out. So now I'm gonna make sure that's in the right position there. Skim and drain. I want to turn the drain, that's off. Off position. I want to turn the drain off. That's the position there. And if I want to open both of them up, that's off, so it's all come coming back into the into the drain. All right, so this is the correct position right here for that. Now I know. Right, let's put the screws back in. All right. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's lubricate all the seals. So remember guys, you see where it says inlet? Make sure that's the position right there, okay? That's your inlet right there. Line that up. screws back in okay let's put it back together time to drop in those screws and remember to always hand start the screws so you don't cross thread them hand start them anyways when we screw when we screw it in let's go opposite okay Always go opposite so you can equal pressure. So if you guys like my video and found it helpful, 
Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.